Hey, this is Dan with Userspice.com, and uh, I'm working on allowing AdMiner or AdMiner, whatever you call it, to be used as a database tool, um, sort of in plug-in fashion with Userspice, and having all kinds of, of just fits um, with their function names and all that kind of stuff. Um, but one of the things I ran into when I got past all that was that I go to log in and I can't log in because it says it doesn't support accessing a database without a password, which, I mean, the vast majority of people develop on something like XAMPP or something like that that is not going to use a password for offline development. And so, um, again, I have a ton of respect for the software, but it doesn't doesn't really work for, for what I'm trying to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick workaround. I'm going to go in the code. And I'm going to look for that string. Now, I'll tell you, this may not work on the multi-language version. Uh, I ran into a lot of problems with the multi-language version. But if you look, their code is super compact and not really readable. But it's pretty obvious what's going on here. There's some kind of function above here that's saying if f equals equals empty, which I'm assuming means the password. So uh, rather than hack the code too much, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do if one equals 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 negative 2000 which um, that statement is never going to evaluate to true and I'm going to save this and then I'm going to log in and I immediately have access to all my databases and it's I mean it's a really cool tool like they have a lot of a lot of good stuff here and uh, a lot of things like kind of worth checking out um, and it's just a shame that you couldn't use it without a password so it's a little debugging I don't know if I'll get to make it into a full plugin or not but um, Anyway, it'd be kind of cool to see.